Brian Hoyer is this PEMF shielding expert. He does a lot of consulting in the home to ensure that people's homes are EMF safe. And Ben Greenfield first called Brian Hoyer and he's like, hey, would you check out this porch? And so we heard from Ben that he was getting great measurements off of Brian's instrument about the grounding properties of the porch. And this goes back a couple of years. And we were saying, well, Ben, that's no surprise because we have electrically grounded the forge and we've done it on purpose. And I wanted to explain a little bit about how it works. The forge is made with a metal tub, whether you have the filtered model, which is a galvanized tub, or you have the stainless steel tub, which most of our customer, our business customers have, it's a metal tub. And that means that the water is electrically connected to the metal, especially if you're using some Epsom salt in there. I have eight pounds in mine at home. I just put 18 pounds in our studio forge in Phoenix. So, and the salt helps with that electrical connectivity, but only marginally. The water and the tub are an electrical connection. Underneath the tub are the copper cooling coils. And as you know, copper is an outstanding electrical connector. So the copper is right up against the tub in electrical connection. Then the copper comes out, it's connected to the compressor. The compressor is what moves the refrigerant to keep the tub cold. The compressor has a grounding terminal on it. We've attached a ground wire to the compressor. We run it through the ground fault circuit interrupt that every forge has, and that's for electrical safety so that no one can get shocked while they're in the forge. It runs from the GFCI into the wall outlet and from the wall outlet into the ground using the, the business or the home wiring. All of this is intentional, but we hadn't measured the currents until Brian Hoyer went up to Ben's house, did his measurements and said, wow, this is phenomenal grounding measurements that I'm getting. He goes 20 times more effective than walking around in the grass in your bare feet, which is, as you know, the way that human beings have been, like evolved over millennia to be in electrical connection with the earth is by being in contact with the earth. But there's a big difference between having just the pads of your feet when you're barefoot in contact with the grass, it gives you some electrical connection. And when you are whole body immersed up to your neck in water, so Hoyer measures this and he says the forge is 20 times more effective than the typical uh, methods of grounding. And Ben's thrilled because he's really into that stuff. Well, when Luke Story got his forge, Luke made the same phone call. Brian, would you come check this out? But this time, Luke hired a videographer. We wrote an article about it where Brian is showing the meter and he's talking about the uh, electromagnetic protection that you get while you're in the forge. And more importantly, the instantaneous rebalancing of your static charge with the earth when your whole body immersed inside the forge. That's terrific. Well, that prompted me to go back to grounding and write another article. Um, and this one was more about the competition because unless the competition uses a metal tub and there are a few ice bath companies, few cold plunge companies that do use metal tubs. The water isn't grounded. If the tub is made of acrylic or if it's made of fiberglass, like a hot tub is, then it's not an electrical connection with the, the, the whole tub. And there might be other ways to devise some grounding connection, but it is not going to be 20 times more effective than walking around on the earth in your bare feet. So I wrote this article both about um, the properties that, that have been measured and then the benefits of that. What are the benefits of being in a cold plunge or in a tub that is grounded? Because the shower is not grounded. The tub in your bathroom is not grounded, but the forge is. And there's a couple of things that happen right away. So you can scan the article for yourself and it might be helpful for your customers, but this quote, uh, that I pulled right in the middle from a journal article. When you are out of balance, out of electrical balance with the earth, the viscosity of your blood increases. Now, why is that important? 
because increased blood viscosity lends itself to a greater risk of stroke, which is a blood clot that cuts off uh, circulation to the brain, of heart attack, of deep vein thrombosis. So these are three negative metal, medical outcomes that come from increased blood viscosity. When you put yourself in contact with the earth electrically, your blood viscosity goes down, your risk of stroke goes down, your risk of heart attack goes down, your risk of deep vein thrombosis, and any kind of blood clotting disorder goes down instantaneously. Can I pipe in on that? Yeah, please do. Actually, when blood viscosity goes down too, your oxygen levels go down also. So the formulation of what happens here is what they call Rouleau formation, is that red blood cells, independent in their size and shape, they can attach oxygen around them for oxygen to the red blood cell. When you get electrically um, stripped by EMFs, the red blood cells, they congeal and they come up, they stack up like a whole bunch of stacked coins and flow through the system as a unit which decreases surface area. So it lowers the oxygen's capacity to bind onto red blood cell, thus lowering oxygen delivery into cells for regeneration, repair, and activity. And ATP production from the mitochondria all drops. When you re-electrically ground and charge, it dissipates that, uh, that charge. And uh, that allows it to flow single file uh, of a red blood cell, opening the... Um, the surface area for more oxygen binding. And at the capillary level where we do all of our exchange of nutrients and oxygen, it's typically single file red blood cell formation. So if you have a rouleau formation of a big stack of coins, you're not gonna get into the capillary membranes because the structure is not gonna allow the cells to be able to travel individually. So they're gonna stop and you're gonna end up with uh, symptoms like <clears throat> over a long, long time, like neuropathies and stuff where you're unable to deliver oxygen and nutrients to cells and to other tissue and stuff starts to die off and receive and recoil back. So if you're able to source it to deliver more oxygen by opening up those red blood cells, um, then the, red, the, the blood viscosity is able to flow more normally, oxygen to ATP and delivery into the organs and tissues and everything that drastically increases. All right, so let me uh, see if I can summarize this um, in words that we can explain to customers. When you get in the forge, they already know you're doing a lot with heart rate variability. You're getting improved heart rate variability. Maybe they already know that you're getting some good vasoconstriction, vasodilation cycling, even if you, uh, especially if you combine that with dry sauna. So there are these circulatory benefits, but the one, and, and any cold plunge will get you this, but the one that is unique about the forge that people are not aware of is the grounding. When you ground and your blood becomes less viscous, it means it flows more easily. It flows into your capillaries. It will flow. It, it would mean increased blood flow to, for example, wound healing. If you're working on recovery from exercise and your muscles are sore, the increased circulation is going to rebuild your muscles. If uh, you're working on an injury, maybe it's tendinitis, an inflammation injury, or you've torn a ligament, the increased blood flow into the parts of your body that don't have a lot of circulation is going to help them heal faster. So what are we doing when we're grounding? We are improving our blood flow so that we are at lower risk of stroke. There are especially some elderly customers might be working on that. And among the higher performance, the athlete people, the people who are trying to push their body to the edge, more rapid recovery from injuries and from the usual trauma of a tough workout. Is that the, I mean, I'm trying to translate this into a summary that Casey's customers yeah. would respond to. Well, and it's, a, it's just, a, it's an energy production. So when you have in, when you have enough oxygen, you have 18 to 19 times the energy produced in the body. When your oxygen levels decrease and they drop, you're blunting your oxygen, your uh, ATP production by almost 18 to 19 times. So you want that oxygen there just for the raw materials that your body can operate so it can have energy, so it can repair. Now you were, you're going a little bit further. Like when we were talking about this this morning and these articles, 
They're really only about improved blood circulation as a result of groundwork. But Brian, you were pointing out to me, uh, your knowledge is much more extensive. You were like, well, look, Tom, read the book, PEMF, The Fifth Element of Health. He's like, read Healing is Voltage, uh, third edition on this, Jerry Tennant, MD. And the one that, uh, of course, they're citing in there, Robert Becker, The Body Electric. Now, I haven't read all these books. Uh, I've only been looking at the improvements in viscosity and blood circulation. But you were pointing out that our entire body runs off of electrical signals, the mitochondria for which cold exposure is terrific for recruiting brown fat, for um, making new mitochondria, for uh, reducing the mitochondrial age of our bodies. And that's great. But the mitochondria, you're saying, they are electrical um, organelles. It's their job to move electrons. That's your metabolism. Your metabolism runs off electricity that converts the chemical energy in food into these electrons that will make your muscles move, that will uh, move the materials to create new body tissues. Okay, all that makes sense to me. You've, and you pointed out, not only that, not only is it the metabolism that fuels the body, but the nervous system that controls the body is electrical. So you're saying, sure, these, these blood viscosity benefits of the instantaneous grounding. But when you have build up this static charge, whether it's in your car, or it's at your desk, or it's in your, you know, plastic, uh, I shouldn't say rubber shoes, all these um, insulators that take you out of electrical connection with the earth, build up a static charge, it can screw up your metabolism and screw up your nervous system, not just your blood viscosity. And I want to wrap up by giving you a chance to talk to Casey and Nicole and whomever's viewing this in the recording, a little bit about the things that you were telling me this morning. Yeah, so like talking about the, the nervous system, like I do what are called quantitative electroencephalography scans or brain scans where I hook a bunch of wires up and measure electrical activity into the brain to find what's balanced, what's not. Some of the brainwave patterns of alpha and theta are states where your body actually goes into a trance-like state, meditative state, but it's also one of the healing states of the body. And it's interesting that that particular wavelength in your brain is 7.83 megahertz. The electrical conductivity that pulses from the earth called the Schumann's resonance often called the heartbeat of the planet, which is recharged by lightning, is 7.8 megahertz a second, kind of similar. Uh, and so having a balanced electrical conductivity allows your mind, your body, to go into a neutral, relaxed, and reparative state. So when you get out of that, the opposite could then be uh, taken, that your mind could not operate at a... Um, appropriate level. It could be in dysfunction. It could be in disarray. And I see that all the time when I scan people's brains to find different areas of conductivity that are really, really high or really, really low and not able to bounce back and forth. Mm -hmm. um, it's interesting with some of the uh, um, studies out there. Going to, to this, is that right? That well, you found this new journal article about the synchronization of the human autonomic nervous system rhythms with geomatic activity in the human subjects. I think it's at a level of depth that um, that we can't that we shouldn't try and explain in a short video. But but what the gist of it is, it is not just blood viscosity. It is the metabolism. It is the nervous system, including the functions of the brain that uh, can get out of whack when we have built up a static charge that is out of connection with the earth. Because we've evolved as organisms on this planet, we came out of the oceans, life came out of the water where we were in constant electrical connection with the earth. Because we've evolved, it's no accident that our healing states when we're in an electrical state that is resonant with the earth, we're in a healing state. Now that makes all kinds of sense to me. Our industrialized lifestyles will disconnect us from the earth and that's okay temporarily, 
to get back into the healing state and recover, whether it's from our workout or from our stress or whatever it is, what you're saying is getting electrically connected is part of the metabolic recovery, part of the cognitive and nervous system recovery, not just part of the cardiovascular recovery. And the article that I'm reading here it says it's not just uh, your tennis shoes or your car that can knock you out of balance, but it's also things that are way beyond our control, whether that's the solar wind or EMFs or um, perturbations in the geomatic, uh, here it says geomagnetic activity. Um, we are going to be subject to these environmental electromagnetic stressors. And they're a lot worse when we're sitting in our 5G Wi-Fi right. home, disconnected, out of grounding connection. They will be better when we get electrically reconnected to the earth and put ourselves into a healing state. Okay, so that's about as much talking at you as uh, we wanted to do. Uh, Casey, I know you're muted um, and that you're driving. Now is a good time. Questions or reactions or ideas. Um, is this translatable? Like I have a question for you. Can we translate this to customers in a way that uh, they might understand that it's an additional value? Yeah, I think absolutely. I think it's, it's definitely... Um transferable to the to the customers um obviously that's always the biggest challenge but um it's great to hear you know these additional benefits I'm, i know we're learning more and more about cold exposure every day but then this takes it even a step further in talking about you know how you're getting that cold exposure the environment that you're in um and it's 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 really cool to hear the story of how you guys sort of came across how this happened um as well so I think it's, it's something really exciting. I think the clients and customers are gonna gonna love to hear um, what you guys have discovered with this. Um, and yeah, I think I think they'll be on board with it. It's just gonna be trying to figure out, um, you know, how to how to get that out there. I mean, a lot of the people that, at least for me, that visit my clinic, um, do have a pretty good understanding of of these sort of topics. So I, I don't think it'll be too challenging for me where I'm at, um, to be honest. Um, the second point of differentiation is this grounding. And it's a lot harder to explain because they can't see the grounding. Although Hoyer's video with the measurement is nice. They don't have a, an immediate sensory experience with the grounding where there's a visual. It doesn't create, you know, the ice makes anxiety in me and it becomes an emotional journey. All people know is that they feel better. They don't know why. But if we are explaining that another important difference is you get the grounding benefit in the forge, um, it might help those people for whom ice isn't like the biggest thing. Maybe they're going to 50 degrees instead of 35. But they might say, you know, um, now that I understand it, that is important to me. The more immersed you are, the faster you are going to rebalance with the earth because the more current is able to go through your skin. So just grabbing onto the tub is a good start. That's more effective than being barefoot in the grass. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and you're talking about all the stuff that's going on with 5G and stuff like brain fog, uh, the lack of attention, uh, energy drain, all those things are dysregulation of electrical circuits in the brain. And uh, not just the norepinephrine and dopamine responses that happen from being the cold, but it also has to do with the electrical conductivity of balancing those neurons in your system.